What's up, everyone? This is Zach Hample at Yankee Stadium getting ready for a very special day of baseball, which is also going to be a very long day of baseball. First of all, it's Mother's Day. I actually just had breakfast with my mom, who watches these videos, so hi, mom. Love you. Number two, I'm going to be seeing a minimum of 18 innings of baseball today, doubleheader. And number three, it's Derek Jeter Day here in the Bronx. The Yankees are retiring his number. It's very early in the day right now, but this neighborhood is already hopping all kinds of memorabilia being sold, the crazy fans are out, streets are blocked off, there's a whole block party for him. So just really excited for all the festivities and uh, going to be heading inside in just a little bit. I don't think there's going to be batting practice today, so of course the challenge will just be to snag one baseball, keep the streak alive, and then just sit back and enjoy the spectacle. All right, as I predicted, there is no batting practice. You can see behind me on the field, the batting cage, the screens are nowhere in sight. So a couple guys playing catch right here, but it is going to be a challenge for sure today. Lance, toss it up, please. All right, I am on the board. Thanks to Lance McCullers, Astro starter, who hooked it up right there. And as you can see, it is a Florida spring training baseball. Anything else that I get at this point is just a bonus. My fantasy would be Derek Jeter comes out of retirement, pinch hits, and hits a walk-off grand slam to me, and I catch it. But short of that, I don't know, just being near any home run in the outfield would be great today. Feels good to get out of the sun and sit here in the shade for a bit and catch up on box scores, emails, texts, tweets, Instagram comments, you name it. And by the way, this is a rare single admission doubleheader here at Yankee Stadium. Normally it would be a split doubleheader, day, night, you'd have to leave the stadium after the first game and then come back in. So really nice to be able to just stay here for all of it. The ceremony for Jeter is going to begin before the second game. And oh, by the way, the stadium opened at 1 o'clock today and first pitch is at 2.05, so not a whole lot of time before things get going. Now, you're not going to hit two or three home runs every game. He's got the teams going to snap out of this. And putting these two games in perspective, Yankees held in check. They still lead the American League with a five and a half runs per game. And the Yankees starting pitchers those first two games, they didn't pitch all that poorly either, but today it'll be up to Luis. All right, I think I missed most of that. Got a shaky shot at the end of Javier Bracamonte, one of the Astros' bullpen catchers, playing catch with a bunch of fans. He is so cool. I've seen him do that before. I actually have an entire separate video, which is a couple minutes long, of him playing catch here at Yankee Stadium. So I will link to that in the description below this one. So look for that. If you can tell me the capital is in Terry, I'll give you a vote. Yeah, it's a country. I know the capital is Texas. What's the capital of Washington? Uh, don't help him. Don't help him. Tacoma. Olympia. The Astros are the friendliest team in Major League Baseball, and it's not even close. It's only about 10 minutes till game time, and look how empty this place is. But I'm telling you, it's not going to stay that way for long. Mike, up here. There it is. What's up, Devo? Hey, what's up, brother? What's hey, going on? What's up, Javier? There it is, a selfie from up in the bleachers. All right, a lot just happened in a short amount of time. I got this baseball right here, the warm-up ball from Astro starter Mike Fires. Said a few quick hellos to some guys on the team that I've gotten to know. They are the friendliest bunch. How many times do I have to say it? And right now, just heading out to my seat in right field, hoping for a little home run to come flying my way. Hey, hot dogs, hey, hey, hot dogs. <laughs> You ready to see one mean looking dude? Check this out. Oh, 
top of the third inning, and Yankees starter Luis Severino is already out of the game. Pitching change right now. Astros put up a three spot, so they're on top three to one. Aaron Judge is officially the nicest guy. Well, actually, pretty much all the guys on the Astros are the nicest guys, but Judge is definitely the nicest guy on the Yankees, and if you don't already love him just because he's a beast and he's an amazing player, you should like him because he really is super friendly. Also, it's raining now. And just like that, we have a tie game. Starlin Castro, two-run homer, three to three, bottom of the fourth inning. And it is really coming down right now, by the way. What the hell is going on with this weather today? And now it's perfectly sunny once again. This is just a very strange day. Six innings are in the books. The Yankees are clinging to a 4-3 to three lead right now. Right after Stalin Castro went yard, Aaron Judge hit a mammoth home run off the batter's eye in dead center. Sunglasses! Sunglasses! Oh, nice so Thank check you, this out. There's the ball that Aaron Judge just tossed up before the seventh inning. Nice job catching it. Pink stitches, pink stamping, really nice looking baseball for Mother's Day. A little food from home. Chase Headley just hit a three-run double to put the Yankees on top nine to six. The lead keeps going back and forth. The weather keeps going back and forth. This day is already crazy and there's still a whole another game coming up later on. Oh, it's really coming down right now. This place is cleared out once again. I think I have rain all over my phone and I wouldn't be surprised if this game gets delayed. All right, well that was pretty cool. It took me eight innings and I just caught a Brett Gardner home run ball. You can see it right there. Woo. Oh man, I don't even have words right now. I'm so excited. What's up guys? <laughs> A lot of high fives out here. So that is my 54th lifetime game home run. Yeah, you got that ball, right? I did. So we got the selfies here. This guy's photographing the ball. <laughs> I actually just got a text from the head of Yankees security asking if I got the ball, so Gardner himself might want this back. Let's see. What's up, guys? You guys ready to get some selfies? All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, so Brett Gardner does not want that baseball back, which is a shame. I would have given it to him. would have been nice to meet him. But the, the head of Yankees security just basically saw me on TV and texted to say congrats. So, man, this is insane. Frank Sinatra is singing in the background. That means it's a final here at Yankee Stadium. 11 to six, that's your score for the first game. And the story of the day, at least for me, I mean, catching the Brett Gardner home run in the eighth inning. What? And actually, it's because of the weather that I got that ball. It rained a couple times and it got sunny in between. And I guess the second or maybe even third time that it rained, as with the first few times, a whole bunch of fans ran for cover. So I had a little bit of room to work with and I had to drift maybe, I don't know, 20 feet to my right, and I caught it. So thank you, Universe, for sending these clouds over Yankee Stadium, I guess. Really excited for the second game, for all the Jeter stuff. It's about an hour until that ceremony gets underway, so I'm just gonna wander around a bit, charge my phone, say hi to a few people, and I'll be back soon. Like I said, just wandering a little bit down here on the third base side, just hoping to get a closer look at the ceremony and all the pregame festivities before game two and see what I can see and share it with you guys. Let's do this. Welcome to Derek Peter Night. You can see how much Derek has meant to the Yankees and their fans. 
He played with a passion and a heart on every play. Great speech by Jeter, amazing reception, of course, by the fans, all his former teammates, and just people with the organization. Incredible, man, there's nothing else to say. Congratulations again, Derek. Derek Jeter with the ceremonial first pitch, threw a strike, of course. Game two is about to begin, Tanaka just took the mound, and I think I'm actually gonna hang here in foul territory for a bit. I heard a rumor that there are commemorative Jeter balls being used tonight for the second game. So, just gonna hang here for a little bit, make an attempt to catch one, and hope for the best. It's still early, but it's time for a scoreboard update. Middle of the first inning. And the Astros are already winning six to nothing. George Springer and Josh Reddick led off the game with a pair of solo home runs. And then Alex Bregman hit a grand slam. So, I don't know, Jeter has this magic touch. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Yankees come back and win this thing. You want to be in the background? <laughs> it's the top of the fourth inning, and the Astros are winning eight to nothing. What is going on with that? I don't know, man. But anyway, I'm hanging out here with a young fan named Lucas who actually watches these videos. And now we each got a game-used ball early here in game two. 
you got a foul ball tossed up to you, and I got a third out ball, the ball that ended the third inning, which was thrown by Carlos Correa. So let's show everybody these baseballs. More pink Mother's Day balls, which is cool, but we were both hoping for Jeter balls. So I may actually head back to the outfield in a little bit, but I've decided I'm gonna give this baseball away as a Twitter contest, all right? So basically, you need to be following me, right? They gotta follow me, Zach underscore Hample. You got that? Follow me on Twitter. And you basically look for the tweet where I show this ball and talk about it, retweet that, and I will just basically pick someone at random, and this could be yours. So good luck. I need to mention two more things about that Mother's Day ball that I just got. Hey. First of all, I neglected to film myself catching it. Sorry about that. My iPhone was sitting in a cup holder. I just ran down and got it tossed up. I wasn't thinking. Secondly, you should probably know, especially if you're the one who wins the ball in the contest, that it was a Matt Holiday ground out to third baseman Alex Bregman. Bregman went the short way, got the force out at second base. Jose Altuve caught that ball, stepped on the bag, and then Altuve threw it to Carlos Correa when they were jogging off the field. Correa threw it to me, and it may end up in your possession. So now you know the source. Derisive cheer right there from the crowd because the Yankees just scored their first run of the game. So I'm looking at the scoreboard right now. Bottom of the fifth inning, Astros are on top, nine to one. I just came within about 10 feet of a Matt Holiday home run, and the Yankees are getting closer. It's now 9 to 4, top of the sixth inning. Someone just threw a full cup of beer. A portion of all proceeds are donated to Memorial Sloan Kettering, benefiting pediatric. It's Mother's Day. Oh, it's Mother's Day. You already got one. No, no. Oh, God. It's the ninth inning, and things are officially getting wacky right here. People have been in this stadium a long time, which means they've been drinking a lot of beer. I am just looking forward to getting out of here. Six more outs to go. Oh my god, this game is never going to end. Bottom of the ninth inning, two outs. Aaron Judge at the dish. What will happen? The Yankees have brought the tying run to the plate here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Unbelievable. Let's go! Game two is over. The Astros won it 10 to seven, which means they split the doubleheader and took the series three games to one. So much exciting baseball was played here in the Bronx this weekend. And this day just by itself, was crazy from start to finish. I was inside the stadium for more than 10 hours. The games themselves were crazy. I mean, there was like a total of, I think more than 30 runs scored today. The fans got crazy toward the end. Of course, the story of the day was the man himself, the captain, Derek Jeter, that's right. One of my all time favorite players. So glad I could be here for that. And for me personally, my highlight was catching the Brett Gardner home run during the first game. Oh, so. Yes, sir. I'm in. I'm, in. I'm a dad fan. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Doing. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. So, um, that was one of four baseballs I got today. Also got a third out ball in the second game, the ball that ended the third inning. So you can see both of those, the lighting is a little screwy here, but the two pink commemorative Mother's Day balls. So, the four baseballs bring my lifetime total to 9,650. And that does include the ones I give away. I gave one of the warm-up balls to a kid, and I'm gonna give away the third out ball, like I said, as a Twitter prize. So gotta be following me, Zach underscore Hample, and then retweet 
the tweet about the ball, I'm gonna make it really easy for you. You're already gonna check the description, right? Because there's a link to a video there of Astro's bullpen catcher, Javier Bracamonte, playing catch with some friends. Time to go? Yeah. I'm outside the stadium now, and sorry, that was distracting. Not friends, fans. Bracamonte was playing catch with the fans. But anyway, you're checking the description below this video. You will also find a direct link to that tweet that you need to retweet to win the ball. And you will find a link to the highlight of the Brett Gardner home run, so you can watch me catching it. Other than that, I need to get myself home, and I gotta pack because I'm waking up early in the morning and flying to Miami because I'm gonna be at Marlins Park with my videographer, Brandon, who's home in San Diego right now, which is why I was selfie filming myself for this video. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Wow, good night.